Okay, so lab four is going to be about recognizing synthetic sequences, same, same ones that, as before, but this time with transformers. Okay, so we're going to introduce line CNN transformer class and the transformer lit model class. Let's talk about the line CNN transformer. So in lab three, if you remember, we trained uh, a line CNN, which is a CNN that takes an image of a line of text and then uh, basically applies a sliding window, produces outputs. We ran those outputs through an LSTM and then we trained it with CTC loss. And that worked pretty well. I think the best we got is like maybe around 17% character error rate on the validation set. Um, in this lab, we're going to do a very similar thing. We're still going to use the line CNN architecture, but we're going to send it through transformer decoder layers instead of the LSTM model. And we're going to train it with just what well, we'll talk about in a second. Okay. So where is the line CNN transformer? So we go into lab four, we go into text recognizer, we go into models. And now we find the new one, which is line CNN transformer. So first there's a class called positional encoding, which is what it sounds like. Uh, it's kind of strange that PyTorch doesn't just provide it for you, but uh, generate square subsequent mask. So that's that triangular attention mask that kind of masks out the future. And then here's the main class line CNN transformer. This stuff is the same as in line CNN LSTM. Um, we instantiate the underlying line CNN model. And then we have a couple of more, a couple of new classes. One is the embedding class, which we'll use to embed our target characters, right? So we're predicting from an image to a string of characters. We're embedding the target characters with this embedding layer. And then the fully connected layer is going to be kind of at the output. We have a positional encoder. We have just this triangular mask that we're going to reuse. Uh, so we can just kind of instantiate it here. And then we have the transformer decoder, which is using the PyTorch transformer decoder model, which takes a transformer decoder layer and has a num uh, takes a parameter for the number of layers. So by default, we are using four transformer layers um, and each layer has four attention heads and the dimensionality of the transformer layer output is 128. So when we take a forward pass, um, the input is X, which is the image batch size by height by width. But there's a new input, which is actually Y, which is actually the output we're supposed to predict, right? And it takes, uh, or it's, it's batch size by sequence length, S sub Y. And each element of that sequence is uh, an integer between zero and C minus one, where C is the number of classes or the number of our characters. What we produce in forward is a uh, tensor that's batch size by the number of classes by sequence length um, logits. So X is the image input. We run it through line CNN. That turns it into batch size by embedding size by sequence X, sequence sub, or S sub X, the sequence dimension of this line CNN. We just kind of normalize it a little bit. It's done in the transformer literature, so we do it here. Um, then we send it through this positional encoder. So we add the position basically to this sequence. Then we take Y, which is actually the output we're supposed to predict. We run that through the embedding. We run it through a positional encoder. We apply the mask to it. So that adds a future masking. And then we use the transformer decoder to run Y, X, and Y mask through it, which produces the output, which we additionally just run through a last fully connected layer, and that gives us our sequence. To train it, we use the transformer lit model, which is in lit models transformer. There's nothing too fancy in here. 
we are back to using cross entropy loss as our loss function. We're not using CTC loss. We're still using character error rate for our metrics. Um, and we're actually going to, I forget if we did this or not in the CTC. Okay, we did it, yeah. So we're gonna ignore the start um, token and the padding token in calculating the error rate. Okay, so to take a training step, we just have our X, the image, Y, the true sequence from the batch. We run X, the image, and Y up until the last um, character through the model. And then we compute the loss on what's output and the ground truth starting from the first, not from the zeroth token, but from the first token until the end. And the idea there is like, well, the model is supposed to predict one step ahead, basically, from what it sees. And so we have to compute the loss on, you know, uh, offsetting the ground truth by one. This is called teacher forcing. Um, and it's, I think, covered in the um, reading this week. Okay, and then validation, we do the same thing. And then we also calculate the actual character error rate. Now to do that, we need not just the logits, but we actually need the, the prediction of the model. So if you remember in the CTC lib model, in order to make a prediction, we had to do this greedy decoding, right? Of the log probabilities. In transformer, we have to do something similar. Like there's just a separate step to predict uh, the function or the method is, is in the model. So let's look at line scene and transformer predict method. So we take an image. This time we don't take the ground truth label because we don't know it. And we output a tensor uh, of basically sequence lengths, like same thing that the ground truth, same, same shape as the ground truth, right? And uh, what we do is we run the image through the CNN, position encoding, then our output tokens are going to be built up incrementally, right? So they, they start as just all padding. It's like a, vec it's a vector basically of all padding tokens, except the first token is set to be the start token, which lets Transformer know that that's the start of the sequence. And then we do a loop where basically for each element in the output sequence, we take uh, the current encoded image and we take the all the tokens that have been predicted so far which starts with just the start token run them through the embedding run them through the position encoding <clears throat> and then run them together with the image through the transformer decoder and that gives us the output which are logits then we take the argmax to the to take the maximally certain prediction and we put that as another output token. So we start with just the start token, and then we predict the next token, and then we take the first two tokens, and we predict the third token, and so on. And we actually do it for just max output length, but if you wanna speed this up in the homework, you can actually stop decoding the first time we produce a padding token or um, the end token, the end sequence token. Um, and that'll speed up this predict method. So that's basically all there is to it. To train this, we do Python run experiment. I find that you have to run it for more epochs. So I just set it to 40, run it on the GPU, some number of workers, EM this lines, same as we trained the CTC loss on, model class line scene and transformer. I said window width to 20 and window strike to 12, just, just for the heck of it. You can set it to whatever you want. Um, there's a couple of things I'm forgetting to do. Conda activate FSDL text recognizer 2021, and then go into lab four. And now I can run this. So it loads the data. This is the model. There's 1.9 trainable params. That's more than in the LSTM model. And then it starts training. Um, and for me, after 40 epochs, I got 17% character error rate, which is basically the same as what we got with the LSTM and CTC model. In the homework, you can just try different hyperparameters as in, you know, different window width, window strides. 
Uh, you can add command line flags here so that you can set some of these transformer specific variables or hyperparameters on the command line. And like I mentioned, you can speed up the predict method. That, that would be kind of fun to do. That's all there is to it. Do you guys have any questions about this lab or labs in general?